Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we have some information coming from the dev blog concerning the new Dutch cruisers and their airstrike armament. And some changes that are happening here, many of you will probably be, be very happy about some of these changes, uh, some of you may not be so happy about. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. I am reading straight from the dev blog, link to it is in the description down below if you wish to check it out for yourself, which I do encourage you to do so. Any relevant images or artwork will be thrown up on screen. As always, I'm going to go through each section, give you guys my opinion about each section, and then we'll go over the whole thing as a whole at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So ST.10.5 changes to test ships. We adjust the parameters of some ships based on testing results. The changes will be applied to the airstrike and other parameters of Dutch cruisers. Dutch cruisers, uh, Dutch cruiser, De Ruder, tier 4. Main battery reload time increased from 8.5 to 9 seconds. Dutch cruiser, well, Google lady help. Okay, done. Uh, tier 6. Main battery reload time increased from 7 to 8.5 seconds. Change the airstrike parameters. Reload time increased from 60 to 80 seconds. Maximum bomb damage reduced from 5800 to 5100. Chance to cause a fire by a bomb reduced from 33 to 29%. Dutch cruiser Eindracht. tier 7, main battery reload time increased from 7 to 8.5 seconds, airstrike reload time increased from 60 to 80 seconds. Dutch cruiser Harlem. tier 8, airstrike reload time increased from 80 to 100 seconds. Dutch cruiser Johan de Witt, tier 9, changed the airstrike parameters, reload time increased from 80 to 100 seconds, maximum bomb damage reduced from 7400 to 6100. Chance to cause a fire by bomb reduced from the 42 to 35 percent. Dutch cruiser. Gouden Leeuw. I know it means golden lion, but I still can't say the Dutch pronunciation of it. Tier 10. Change the airstrike parameters. Reload time increased from 80 to 120 seconds. Number of airstrike charges reduced from 3 to 2. Maximum bomb damage reduced from 8,500 to 6,800. Chance to cause fire by a bomb reduced from 48 to 39 percent. The Zeven Provincie. Tier 8. Uh, main battery reload time increased from 6 to 7.5 seconds. Change the airstrike parameters. Reload time increased from 60 to 80 seconds. Number of planes in the airstrike squadron inc reduced from 12 to 6. Reduce the number of bombs dropped by each plane. The number of airstrike charges increased from 1 to 3. Reduce the time bombs fall. Reduce the bombs drop zone. So, for the most part, most of these ships, except for the seven provinces down here, got a lot of big nerfs to their airstrike consumable, I'm sorry, to the airstrike armament, or to their reload time. From tier 7 down, they got a nerf to their reload time by about a second and a half on average and about a 20 second increase to the reload time of the airstrike and also a reduction in the alpha damage that the bombs cause and in the fire chance and the golden lion down here got i think the biggest nerf the reload time got increased from 80 to 120 seconds and she lost a charge of the airstrike consumable on top of losing almost 2000 damage per bomb and just under 10 percent chance of fire for per bomb as well which is a very good thing because the tier 10's airstrike was quite quite intense as I'm sure most of us saw in the video that was hosted on Flamu's channel with the Alaska just getting absolutely dumped on by a single golden lion just dropping all three charges on a single ship. But now he can only drop two of those charges and they've been nerfed quite a bit. Now this is all still in testing of course so they could very well throw this whole armament out the window. But the thing is, too, that these ships, besides this armament, they still have their guns and their torpedoes. And the ships aren't like their, their, their weak ships. They are very strong ships. The Golden Lion is literally pretty much a Sharn Horse in the cruiser slot at Tier 10, but with more accurate guns and the airstrike. So, yeah, but a big nerf overall to most of these ships' airstrikes. But wait, there's more. General changes of the airstrike of researchable cruisers. Increase the bombs drop zone, reduce the time bombs fall, increase the number of bombs dropped by each plane, reduce the plane's flight height. The changes will make airstrike more comfortable to use. Now the armament will make dealing damage more consistent, but at the same time, the damage from each airstrike activation will become lower. Okay, so the thing with the airstrike is before 
if a ship was moving, it was pretty difficult to actually hit them. And I know a lot of the clips of stuff that you've seen, the ships were sitting perfectly still, like the Alaska from Flanders video. He was bow in in a really, really bad position. He had, I think, literally six or seven ships in front of him, so literally half the enemy team sitting in front of him. And he was bow in on an island. So the man wasn't going to live very long either. And a lot of the other clips you've seen floating around were from Montana's and stuff that was sitting perfectly still in a training room too. If you were moving at all, and it wasn't just like you're in like something like the uh, the Shikishima or the Yami going one quarter speed, you could easily dodge these airstrikes, which is kind of the intention. These airstrikes are meant to punish ships that are island camping and not moving at all, and it's supposed to encourage them to move. And if you were in a cruiser at all, if you were sitting still and you were in a position where you could even throw it in reverse and you knew these airstrikes were coming, you could. You could easily negate 90% of the damage from these airstrikes. Am I saying it's good that they are making it easier to get these airstrikes to hit each ship? No, I'm just saying that if you weren't in a situation where there's a ship sitting completely still and you sat completely still for the entire 20 seconds it took for your airstrike to get there, you were barely doing any damage. But, in my mind, that's kind of the idea. Because these things are meant to discourage camping, like I just said. So, having a, uh, an armament that can easily punish someone who's sitting perfectly still, but is negated by somebody who uses their brain and move, it makes sense in my mind. But now they're changing it to, I'm guessing... They, didn't, they don't tell us how much they've reduced the time that the bombs fall by. You have roughly 20 seconds for the planes to come in, and then the bombs take about, well, beforehand, took about 10-ish seconds to fall. So you've got 30 seconds to, to, to move. And like I said, for cruisers, definitely destroyers, and even some of the faster battleships like the Georgia and the Iowa and the Alsace, that's definitely plenty of time to get out of the way. But some of the larger battleships, you, you would still eat that. But they don't tell us how much time has been cut off of the bombs falling plus the height that the planes fly at has been reduced as well but again they don't tell us by how much so we can't really guesstimate how much time has been cut off of the drop time of the bombs now they've also reduced the damage by a lot i mean like we just said with with the golden lion it's lost almost 2000 alpha damage per bomb and 10 percent of the fire chance and you can only have two of them now so that's a bit better in my opinion um now the charges being reduced to two that's better but i still think there needs to be some type of cooldown time in between the charges because you can still spam two of them at a time uh like with the asw planes right now for the um submarine test that's going on in the test server you can just drop two of them instantly which is pr pretty good against submarines but i mean you're only dropping i think like eight depth charges at a time. Meanwhile, these planes are dropping like 30 something bombs at a time. So, yeah, there's a bit of a difference there. Um, but overall, I think if they truly are doing less damage per run now, and there's still time for fairly maneuverable ships to get out the way, and they're still set up in a, such a way that if you are moving, it's easy to dodge. I think these changes are going to be for the better. Now, keep in mind, too, this is all still in testing. This could change overnight again. But I think they're going in the right direction here with the airstrikes. We'll have to see how much time the bombs have been um, sped up. If it's just like a normal CD strike and it's that quick, yeah. But I think maybe they cut it down to like a 20-second reaction time instead of a 30-second reaction time. I think that's pretty okay. But again, we'll have to see how that works out in-game. I'm just spitballing here. Another weird thing is, too, is I don't know why the Dutch get these consumables, but we have several navies that definitely utilize airstrikes, which is, well, all of them. I mean, the the British, I'm, <laughs> they're on their island. Of course, they're going to use the, you know, the RAF. I mean, uh, England was known as Aircraft Carrier England for a while. Um... The, the Italians definitely did while operating in the Mediterranean. The Germans most definitely did. I mean, that's that's where, where Bismarck was trying to run to. He was trying to run to uh, Luftwaffe air cover during the uh, um, Operation Reinenbaum. 
You know, that, that's where they were trying to get to so they could use airstrikes. Uh, the Americans certainly did on the U-boats that were spotted off the coast. I mean, everybody did, so I don't know why the Dutch are getting these specifically. I mean, it makes sense, you know, looking at the location of the Netherlands, I'm sure they most definitely did, but m most militaries would utilize their air force when uh, ships are within range of their air force. So it's just something I wanted to throw in there at the end. And yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting consumable um, armaments. Jeez, I have to keep, I have to stop myself from saying that because it is an armament. But uh, one that I'm not really sure is completely necessary to the game. Is it a neat mechanic? Sure. But we'll see how it pans out. And we'll see what stage of it we get when the Dutch cruisers come to the server. Let me know what you guys think about the changes to the airstrike armament and to the Dutch cruisers overall. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. One way to 30,000 subs. And congratulations to our fourth winner of our giveaway. He finally got back to me. He had some little funky business going on with YouTube, but Stinger510, he was the winner of the fourth giveaway. Uh, he chose the Tier 8 Russian Battleship Lenin, which is a very good choice by Guy. So there is one final ship to give away. I know it's been a very long time. We've had difficulties with the Wargaming's website, with YouTube notifications not going out because, well, it's, it's YouTube. But the last winner will be announced on Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.